Hey guys, Adam and Maggie of the Let's Not Panic podcast, and we are here, we are in Africa, Shadow is not here, Shadow mm-hmm. is on the ocean somewhere, on a mm-hmm. container ship, um, and we thought we would do a walkthrough of our rented vehicle from Bushlore, Africa. It's true. So since we spent so much time in Shadow, we thought it's been so cool to see a different overlanding vehicle that's been outfitted kind of differently than ours, and so we wanted to show you guys too. Yeah, there's lots of good comparison points. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. All right, so first of all, what is this vehicle? Um, It's a Land Cruiser 70, much bigger than Shadow, much more powerful. The engine is the 1HZ, it's a manual transmission, which is also really nice because automatic transmissions are a liability. Um, This thing is just a huge workhorse, especially for overlanding purposes because it has a 131 liter gas tank, which comes out to be 32 and a half gallons of, not gas, uh, diesel. Um, I think it has about 138 horsepower, you know, right here. The other thing you can see in this shot is the dual battery system just like in shadow they have two dual batteries they have a huge uh, deep cycle battery here and interestingly enough they use the exact same intelligent solenoid from national what is it called yeah national luna which is the exact same gear that we put into shadow Um, so the idea is the fridge is hooked up to this and the fridge is not going to drain the power uh, if you leave it running of the main starter battery It'll just drain this deep cycle battery. So very similar setup. You'll notice there's a lot more space under the hood. It's a much bigger vehicle, much more substantial. So yeah, that's it. Closes like so. So on the back of Shadow, we have on our rear bumper, one spare tire and two jerry cans on a single swing arm, which means it's really heavy and difficult for me to maneuver. But Bushlore's truck has dual swing arms, which means it's really easy to open, like so. And that reveals the back, which is basically just a truck bed, which also has a thing that can lock right here. I didn't lock it right now. But which opens up to where our ample storage is. And one of the best things that the Bushlore truck offers is this huge amount of storage in their drawer system, like you can see here. So in shadow, We have two drawers, but neither of them lock. This one only has a single drawer, but as you can see, it goes super deep and it also locks, which is really nice. So that's where we've been keeping all of our electronics and things that we want to keep safe while we're on the road. So one of the things that's the biggest bottleneck for Maggie and I in Shadow is that everything has to come out of the back. One of the things that's amazing about this vehicle is this cab has doors on the side and they open very easily. There's little locks on each side. Um, and like so, you now have access to this whole side of the vehicle. Now this side of the vehicle has the kitchen all arrayed out like this and it makes for getting at coffee stuff in the morning or that cutting board or that knife very easy. Whereas in Shadow we have this red box that we have to take out and set up. You should see our kitchen setup video if you want to see a little bit more detail. And then right here's the fridge. So really like this is the food side. You just know everything is available. And then the other thing is this side also opens up and has our propane very accessible and all of our backpacks. So it's a great setup. So this is our basic kitchen setup and these are the stoves, which to be totally honest are not as good as the partner stove we have at home. They're propane hooked up directly to burners. So if a wind comes through, you know, you're a little bit subject to that. And if you're skittish about fire like I am, it can be a little bit unnerving to light, but it gets the job done and we've been eating super well. And more importantly, all these elements stash really easily. This table lines up on the top of the car and is stored outside, which is great. And then these two propanes both have a custom made space in the bed of the truck that they slip into perfectly, which means they're really easy to pick up and put down. So one of the main differences is this is not a hard shell rooftop tent, but it is a rooftop tent. Um, The comparison point I would say is it's just a little bit more setup and a little bit less comfy, but there is a little bit more space. Maggie's gonna show you the inside in a second. 
But first, I have to set it up. So, I'm going to do that. So this is the inside of the tent and um, it's a little bit bigger than our tent, especially lengthwise, like more room at the feet and a little bit more room at the head, about the same width wise. One of my favorite things about it though is that it opens on both sides, which means when it's hot out you get really nice airflow in here and it makes it a really nice place to take a nap or read, which is different than our tent. Um, but otherwise, it's really similar to ours once you're inside. So that's about it. We've covered basically all the living stuff that we need. One thing to mention is that I do provide a high lift jack and chains and traction mats. Mm -hmm. And in fact, there's some jerry cans up on the roof. Again, uh, two five gallon jerry cans. Mm -hmm. So lots of recovery stuff in the vehicle as well. Also an air compressor so you can air down the tires. All the bases are covered on that. Very impressed with the, the general setup. And a winch. That's right, I forgot to mention, the front bumper has a full winch that runs off the battery. Um, and the Land Cruiser, being an awesome vehicle, has features for you to increase the idle speed of the vehicle manually, so you don't have to like be pressing on the gas, you can just make it go higher with a little knob on the dashboard. Um, I should also mention, I didn't mention in the beginning, it has a locking front and rear differential, so it's a very capable vehicle. It's true. We've gotten stuck in the sand and it got itself out right quick yeah, by just switching on the, the differential lock mm -hmm. so you can hear the story about us getting stuck in the sand by visiting our podcast on apple podcasts or your podcatcher of choice it's called let's not panic mm -hmm. and you can see pictures from our trip on the instagram account by the same name at let's not panic yeah you'll see pictures of that very desert that we were trying to drive to it's true and if you'd like to see more videos you can always support us on patreon.com slash Let's not panic. Thanks to our patrons for making all these videos that we've been doing possible. We really appreciate it. It it's means true. the world to us. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. <laughs>